Hi guys, welcome to Linksa YouTube channel. My name is Ramishra and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video I will tell you how to work with container data volume in Linux. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the lab session, we have to understand few points which is how to Docker host machine communicate with Docker images. By default, the host machine has no access to the file inside the Docker container because the Docker container are isolated from the host machine by default. So however we have a couple of ways to get access to this like uh, we can set docker specify environment variable or links or port forwarding but here we are going to discuss another commonly used method which is docker data volume. So data volumes are designed to process data independent of the containers life cycle and docker therefore never automatically delete volumes when we remove a container. So let's begin the lab session. Guys here I have one trusted virtual machine and this is my Linux terminal and firstly I will show you the OS release version of this host. So I create the screen and go with my tested file etc OS release. So you can see that uh, currently I am using RHEL 9. So what I am going to demonstrate to you, I will show you how, uh, how, to f how we can mount a directory from our docker host into the container. So we have to follow few steps to work with a container data volume. First step is to create a mount directory in docker host with the some files. So I started with mkdir command mkdir and I make a directory name host volume could be anything. Okay then I move to the host volume and try to make some blank file for testing purpose Linux and CD. Okay, so uh, you can see I make a directory name host volume in slash directory and create a blank file named Linux for the testing purpose. Now I am going to run a container commands to list available container images in local storage. So for this I run the command podman images. Sorry. Okay, see. So I clear the screen, yeah, podman images. So you can see currently I have one available container image on this local host. And if I run podman ps-a, that means, uh, see, uh, you can see there is no running or available container in this Docker host. So podman ps-a will print information about the available containers. So now I'm going to make a new container from this container image and mount slash host volume directory in our new container okay so the command is podman run hyphen go with dit hyphen hyphen name could be anything in my case i go with demo okay and uh, then hyphen v for the mount purpose host volume okay where you have to mount uh, i want to mount in slash opt say new and uh, go with the sms context and the latest available container image is ubi l a t e s t here is the ubi latest you can see that okay so now i press enter and it will take some time so now i'm going to explain each and every line so podman run run a command in a new container hyphen d option that is run the container in d attach mode as a daemon as a daemon and hyphen i is the same as interactive when this option is used the container accept standard inputs hyphen t is used to equivalent hyphen tty like p pseudo terminal uh, is allocated for the container hyphen hyphen name is used for set container name so in my case that is demo could be anything hyphen v is used to mount the directory so i mounted slash host volume in otp new Capital Z is automatically set the SNX context on that directory and UBI colon latest. This is the latest available container image on my local host. So this command will mount the host directory slash host uh, volume into the container at opt slash opt slash new. Now if I run podman ps minus a one more time, let's see what happens. See, you can actually, you can that we can found that one container named demo is running successfully. So now time to check whether it's successfully mounted or not. So for this, I run the command podman exec command, which is used to execute a command in running container. So I go with podman exec and hyphen again go with it and the container name is demo and go with the bash environment. So slash min bash. Okay, now I'm in the container and we can check if our container is sharing the volume or not. So I go with ls, opt and new. Yeah. 
you can see I can access the Linux file inside the container. Now I'm trying to make few more files from the container. So I go to that particular location and try to make few more files. Say file one two ten dot txt. Run the ls command. Great and exit from there. Okay. So now I exit from the container. Now I'm I'm on my Docker host machine and let's check one more time whether I can list those files from Docker host or not. So I have the command list host volume. Yeah, here it is. So as uh, we can see clearly the file sharing is working properly and I can access it from the Docker host as well as container. So now I'm going to stop and remove the container and then let's see what happened. So I run the command podman stop demo. Okay, so first of all, I stop the container, then simply I run the command rm. Okay, it's removed. So now if I run the podman ps minus a one more time, see. And now you can see no container is available. And if I run the ls slash host volume, let's see. Yeah, I have the shared data volume in my safe hand and I can copy or save it anywhere where I can uh, use it. So host volume, say cp, I copy the entire data and move to the temp folder and if I run the temp folder ls command, here it is. So guys, this is how we can work with the container data volume in the Linux. And finally, this is the end of this topic. Hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things. Soon I will come up with another new interesting topic. Till then keep practicing. If you feel something I have missed or you wanted to know more something is, please leave your comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more updates. If you like this video, please do not uh, forget to like, share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and goodbye.